What's up, you guys? It's Mika here. Mika the Meek, 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 Meek from Cosmic Warrior. How y'all feeling today? I hope you guys are doing well today. Um, this reading here is going to be for my Leos here, okay? So for my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, your Venus sign, and your North Node here, okay? Um, if you do not resonate with the reading here, uh, be sure to check other parts of your birth chart. Uh, you may find that you resonate with other parts of your birth chart as well, okay? Uh, keep in mind that my readings are timeless. Time is fluid. So whenever you get to a uh, video here, that's when it's good for, okay? Also, energy is interchangeable. So you can exchange the energies according to how it fits your story. But also keep in mind that if it's not your story, it's not your story. We're not going to try to make it fit. We're not going to try to squeeze our foot in a shoe to where it does not fit there. All right? We are not Cinderella sisters, okay? All right, so I'm going to get right into the reading here. Um, be sure to uh, like and comment the video if it resonates. Um, also, be sure to hit that subscribe button and post notification um, so that every time I upload there, you will be uh, one of the first to receive the video there, okay? Uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and pull the overall energy here for my Leos here. All right, let's get into it. All right, Leos. So we have power here, and that's pretty crazy. Um, for my Leos, you kind of pulled your, your own energy here. So this means you are really stepping back into your authentic self, okay? You are, you are finding yourself again here, okay? With the, the black here, the black meaning independence. So some of you guys are stepping back into your independence here. Okay, uh, with that number eight there, um, that eight means power and strength. Okay, so you're taking your power back from a given situation here. Okay, you are finding the strength to move forward from something here. You know, uh, it could be possibly, you know, uh, a love connection most likely, or it could be, you know, something involving your career. Okay, but I do see that you are, uh, you know, gaining your power back emotionally, mentally, and spiritually here, Leos, okay? You're overcoming something, okay? You are also taking something. You are understanding. You are building your knowledge and understanding of a given situation here. And you are basically taking, uh, you know, learning some lessons here, Leos. That's what I kind of see. You're learning some lessons from a given situation here, all right? All right, so let's see what we got here. Okay, so it looks like my Leo's, yes. So it does appear that you are uh, possibly coming out of some type of love connection here. Um, like I said, that may have been bringing you down here, you know, emotionally or mentally here because I do see some sort of healing here. And I do see you seeking some type of, you know, support here, okay? Um, you know, but with the success card, I do see that this is um, a love situation that you could be in, you know, where it is a lot of love. Like, you know, you guys love each other very deeply. So if you are in a relationship, there is definitely a lot of love here, um, but it looks like someone hasn't healed. Okay, someone hasn't healed yet, uh, you know, could be coming from a previous relationship. Um, someone needs some healing here. Or if you're single, that means that you are healing right now, okay, and coming out of a past relationship, but you guys still definitely have a lot of love for each other, okay? Leo's, um, it's showing here that, you know, you, you may be going through a lot of worry right now, okay? Um, and this worry could be based in anxiety could be coming from, you know, perhaps the love connection that you're in or that you're coming out of here. But I'm showing that, you know, you're definitely in your head, you know, about the situation right now. OK. And with this discipline card is showing me that, you know, you may be having possibly like some worries as far as money right now. Like I see you guys uh, focusing on yourself here. 
you know, as far as your goals here and, you know, how to become financially stable here. Okay, so you could have left the love connection here. That's what it kind of seems like, but it is a lot of love. But I see right now that you are focusing on yourself and growing, uh, you know, becoming more independent here and focusing on, you know, your financial stability. Okay. Okay, so this person that you're dealing with, with the Wheel of Fortune, um, it could be a Sagittarius that you're possibly dealing with or someone that has Sagittarius in their chart here. Uh, but with that Wheel of Fortune card, um, you know, I see that this person, yeah, it looks like maybe that you probably could have left this uh, a love connection, Leos, okay? Because it looks like this person is having a change of heart here like a turning point, like they may realize here that they may have let their pride get in the way here, okay? They could have seen like some, some things could have been, you could have really triggered this person and what it kind of seems like is, you know, this could be some type, type of, uh, you know, soulmate or twin flame connection possibly, like you guys could have been mirroring each other, like you guys were mirroring each other because I do see pride got in the way uh, with your person here. So this person... Um, you know, you could have really triggered this person because they've seen a lot in you, Leo. They've seen a lot in you that reminded them of themselves. But I do see that they're, they may be possibly wanting to come back here, you know, uh, because there is love. It's definitely love, you know. And this is after you decided to, you know, step back into your power here and focus on yourself. Okay. Um, you could be dealing with the earth sign as well, Virgo. I have Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn here as well, okay? Um, with the Prince of Cups here, um, I see that possibly there could have been an issue that someone may have wanted something long-term perhaps, you know, and the other person didn't. Like someone wanted a commitment and the other person probably wasn't, you know, ready for all of that or you guys were not aligned at the moment. Um, you know, and if that person, you know, did want it, they, they were definitely not expressing that. But I, I do see that as well. And yeah, honesty. Yeah. So this person probably definitely did love you and maybe was not expressing it or showing it. Um, they, you know, because um, I do see that, you know, long term here, like proposals, you know, I do see romance. But either, you know, you or your person was not actually expressing that someone was being deceptive and not letting you know how they felt, Leo. That's what I kind of see here. Okay. All right. So I have the emperor in reverse. So it looks like, you know, when this person comes back, you know, I don't know, Leo, you may be very hesitant as far as giving this person a chance because it looks like you may, you guys may end up going back to the same thing. Although there is a lot of love, like this person realized that they really did love you and they, and they may realize that they did let their pride get in the way and that, you know, they may come back and try to give an apology, you know, for, you know, being a certain way and not being upfront and honest, you know, from the start there. But I see that, you know, that they may come back, but if they come back, it's still, it looks like it still may be like the same issue there. Like they may not appreciate you. They may not actually show that appreciation or their feelings here. And it looks like a lot of nasty ego, you know, is in the way there. You know, I see like some type of power struggle here you know, with that emperor in reverse, okay, you could be dealing with the Aries as well, okay, um, air sign, Libra, possibly Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius there, okay, yeah, but with that emperor in reverse, it's just really showing me that, you know, that this love connection, like, somebody was just very immature, like, there was no communication, no honesty, pride getting in the way there, okay, uh, yeah, but Leo's, I, I don't really see you. I, I see you guys, you know, continuing to stand in your power here, although that there is a lot of love, you know, and, and in order for it to work, like someone, people, you're going to have to, you know, put your, someone's going to have to put their nasty ego away and you, uh, this person is going to have to basically grow the hell up, you know, and someone's going to have to, yeah, put their ego away. Okay, and it needs to be an equal give and take as far as power there. Okay, and that's what I kind of see here. 
So if, if you got it, Leo's, if you even do decide to give them a chance, then that's what's going to have to happen. But I really don't see you, you know, giving it another chance, you know, because this person is going to apologize. But it's still showing here that the same issues are going to arise here. And that's what I see here. Yeah, so I see challenging times here. So, yeah, so this, you know, and this does seem like, like I said, like some type of possibly twin flame connection. Um, most likely more of a twin flame connection than a soulmate connection because twins, they, they typically, you know, mirror each other. It's very tough. Um, you know, you guys trigger each other over and over again because, you know, you guys are mirroring each other's behaviors there. So it kind of forces you to look at the dark side you know, uh, of your, uh, of yourself, your dark shadows there. Okay. Um, but I'm showing embrace here. So embrace, you know, your time here, your independence, you know, um, yeah. And I do see, like I said, a lot of love here, you know, it's definitely still a lot of love. So you guys may not be aligned at the moment, you know, um, although, like I said, it, it is a lot of love. Okay. And I'm showing lead. OK, so this is very good for my Leos here, you know, lead from the things, you know, uh, from the lessons that you have learned. You know, when you took your power back there, you know, you grow from this situation. You learn more things about yourself. Um, and one of you guys are going to have to take a lead if it is a twin flame connection here. OK, so and that's and that's what I kind of see here for you guys uh, for my Leos here. Okay. All right, Leos. So if it did resonate with you, um, please hit that like button, comment. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that post notification button every time. Uh, hit that post notification uh, button so every time I do upload, you guys will be the first to see it there. All right. So all love coming from my way, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.